Well, the night before uh, the eve of uh, the picture of the editor rang me from Belfast and said, "Paul, look, I hope you're, uh, I hope you're really nervous. This is important. This is a global uh, picture that you're going to be taking." And I said, "Look, I'm halfway down a bottle of wine. I don't know what suit they were." And he was in a real panic. He says, "You need to be on your game for this." I said, "Look, it's a handshake." I said, "I've done hundreds, thousands of handshakes over my career." I said, "Look, I'll, I'll, I'll come together all right." More people were nervous about this than I was. Uh, the Queen came round the corner, looked, met the first guy, uh, Peter Robinson and straight to Martin McGuinness um, the handshake and it's the longest handshake I think I've actually shot I actually timed it and I think it was around about 4 seconds and 4 seconds for a handshake is quite long uh, so we had plenty of frames of that there and it was perfect uh, really really nice and the Queen met the other couple of people and left and that was it and I drove over to Stormont Hotel uh, where I uh, walked in there and everybody was in the restaurant and this my picture was there, the Queen shaking hands with Martin McGuinness. It was really unreal, and everybody was, you know, talking. Oh, you know, that, that's just happened. I didn't realise I was actually the one who had done it, you know. So it was a bit of a pat in the back for me. It was a nice one to do.